Hello students, welcome back to our channel Food Tech Online. So today we will discuss on the question answers of Gate Food Technology Subject 2024. So let us proceed. Question number one: The product of cabbage fermentation by leuconostoc mesenteroides is options are sauerkraut, tempeh, natto, and miso. So over here, your correct option is option number A, that is sauerkraut. Whereas tempeh, natto, and miso, these all are the products which are produced by fermenting the soya beans. Question number two: Zerephthalmia is caused due to the deficiency of. So the options are thiamine, pantothenic acids, vitamin A, and vitamin C. So over here, your correct option is option number C, that. Did, that is vitamin A. Uh, thiamine, thiamine it causes so deficiency of thiamine it causes very very pantothenic acid so deficiency of pantothenic it causes hypoglycemia and the deficiency of vitamin C it causes the scurvy. So over here your correct option is option number A that C that is vitamin A. Question number three, which one of the following statement regarding HACCP, that is hazard analysis critical control point, HACCP plan is not correct. So we have to say, uh, choose the incorrect one. The options are HACCP plan involves five preliminary steps and seven principles. HACCP is not effective without prior implementation of prerequisite programs. HACCP is a management tool for ensuring food safety. D, HACCP plan involves establishment of corrective action as a second principle. So over here, the correct option is option number D, that is, HACCP plan involves establishment of corrective action as a second principle. Since we know that HACCP, it uh, hazard has HACCP actually it consists of seven principles. Those are number one that is uh, conduct the hazard analysis. Second to establish to determine the CCPs that is the critical control points. Uh, third to establish the critical limits. Fourth to establish the monitoring procedures. Fifth to establish the corrective actions. Sixth to establish the verification of the procedures and and seventh is the, to establish the record keeping and the documentation of the procedures. So over here, the incorrect one is number D since it should be the fifth principle over here. Then question number four, which one of the following fungi produces alpha toxins? So options are Aspergillus niger. So Aspergillus niger, it, uh, it is a type of certain mycotoxin which produces octatoxin A. So next that is Fusarium verticelloids. So Fusarium verticelloids, it produces the uh, fumonism B1 that is FB1 Aspergillus flavors. So Aspergillus flavors over here is the correct option since it is it, it is a fungi which, which produces the uh, alpha toxins and Rhizopus oligosporus. So Rhizopus oligosporus, it is not asso associated with the production of uh, any potentially harmful metabolites. So over here, the correct option will be option number C that is aspergillus flavors. Question number five, the unique flavor of chocolate and cocoa is due to the formation of options are furanyl, cyclotin, maltol and 5-methyl-2-phenyl-2-hexanyl. So over here, the correct option will be number five, uh, D that is 5-methyl-2-phenyl-2-hexanyl. So furanyl, actually furanyl, it is reported as a key flavor component for strawberry or pineapple type flavor. Cyclotin, cyclotin, it is associated with the perception of roasted or medicine type of flavor. And maltol, so maltol, actually it is used in the fairs. You have seen actually in the fairs, the cotton candies which are been sold. So over there, the spun caramelized sugar type flavor. So over here, the maltol is been used. So the correct option will number D that is 5-methyl-2-phenyl-2-hexanyl. Number six, the which one of the following step is used to remove the phosphatides from the crude uh, oil in the refining procedure? So the options are neutralization, bleaching, degumming, and deodorization. So over here, the correct answer will be option number C, that is degumming. So in degumming, actually degumming, it is actually the first part of the uh, first step of the refining procedure of the lipids or the fats. So in this, the crude oil, it's uh, it, actually in this, the phospholipids are been removed from the crude fats or the lipids and then the neutralization neutralization it is the second step over here the alkali for example sodium hydroxide is being used to remove a uh, actually to neutralize the free fatty acids and in bleaching so in bleaching it is a process which which removes some of the chlorophyll contents or it reduces the color content and even it reduces the soap or the gum dresses or the metals or even oxy or reduces the oxidizing products and in deodorization product process it is a final step of the refining procedure so over here the um, Actually, the oil, it has been heated to a high temperature, which removes a certain undesirable odors. So over here, option number C, that is degumming is the correct answer.
Question number seven. So which one of the following absorbent is not used as an ethylene absorber in the active packaging of fruits and vegetables? So the options are silica gel, potassium permanganate, activated carbons and calcium hydroxide. So the correct option will be number D that is calcium hydroxide. So silica gel, potassium permanganate and activated carbon, these three are used as an ethylene absorber. Whereas calcium hydroxide, it is used as to absorb the uh, carbon dioxide gas. Next question number eight. Under standard conditions in animal feeding studies, the weight gained in gram per gram of protein consumed by the animal is termed as options are protein efficiency ratio, net protein ratio, coefficient of protein digestibility and net protein utilization. So over here, the correct option is A that is protein efficiency ratio. Question number nine, which one of the following is our typical characteristics of a fungal cell? So options are presence of chitin in their cell wall, presence of peptidoglycan in their cell wall, presence of histone proteins and presence of the pseudomurins in their cell wall. So over here, the correct option will be option number A, that is presence of chitin in their cell wall. And presence of histone protein number C is also correct. So presence of peptidoglycan and pseudomurin, it is present in the bacterial cells. Question number 10, which one of the following step is in food is used is are used to reduce the uh, acrylamide formation in the food products options are adding glucose lowering the ph pretreatment using asparaginase and uh, increasing the temperature so over here the correct option will be option number b that is uh, lowering the ph and number c that is pretreatment using asparaginase so we know that even this acrylamide formation so it is important to note, note that this acrylamide actually it has been classified as a potential carcinogen and it is uh, e and its presence in the food even can uh, lead to a health concern so we have to reduce this and even this can be reduced by lowering the ph of the food products or by uh, by the pretreatment using asparaginase so option number c and b and c is correct Question number 11. So which one of the following statement is our correct regarding food and waterborne diseases and the class of causative microorganisms? So options are griardesis, it is caused by the protists, listeriosis, it is a fungal disease, and typhoid fever, it is caused by the virus, and leguminosis, it is a bacterial disease. So over here, option number A is correct, that is giardesis, it is caused by the protists. And option number D is correct, that is ligiardesis losses it is a bacterial disease so this listeriosis actually it is a bacterial infection and it is caused by the listeria monocytogenes and typhoid fever so this typhoid it is also an in, uh, infection which is caused by the bacteria uh, salmonella typhi so over here option number a and option number d is correct question number 12 processing of fluid milk at 72 degrees celsius for 15 seconds is termed as options are high temperature short time htst option b homogeneous process and c that is ltlt that is low temperature long time and d that is uht pasteurization that is ultra high temperature so over here the correct option will be option number a that is high temperature short time so this uh, it requires a time duration of 72 degrees celsius for 15 seconds whereas the ltlt process it requires a time duration of 63 degrees celsius for 30 minutes and uht process it requires actually a temperature more than 140 degrees celsius for 2 to 5 seconds so over here option number a is correct that is htht high temperature short time Question number 13. So which one of the following fatty acid is are known to increase the low density lipoprotein cholesterol? So options are saturated fatty acids, trans fatty acids, omega-3 fatty acids and conjugated linoleic acids. So over here the correct option will be option number A that is saturated fatty acids and number B that is trans fatty acids. So these two fatty acids are responsible to increase the low density lipoprotein that is LDL cholesterol in the body. Question number 14. That which one of the following statement is are true? So options are Rittinger's law is used for the calculation of energy requirement in size reduction. 
B uh, Stokes law is used for the derivation of terminal velocity Hagen Poisson's law is used for the calculation of molecular diffusion and Fick's law is used for the uh, calculation of energy requirements in size reduction so over here option number A is correct that is Rutinger's law is used for the calculation of energy requirements in size reduction and number B that is Stokes law is used for the derivation of the terminal velocity so over here option number A and option number B is correct whereas that the Huygen Poisson's law so this Huygen Poisson's law it gives the pressure drop in an incompressible and Newtonian fluid in a laminar flow flowing through a long cylindrical pipe at a constant cross sections whereas this fixed law this it gives a um, it is used for the calculation of the molecular diffusions so over here option number A and option number B will be correct Question number 15. So match the antinutritional factor in column 1 with their corresponding activity in column 2. So column 1 that is lectin. So lectin it's a plant based compound that causes the hemagglutination in phytohemagglutinins. So number P it will go with 4. So only here number option number A it's given that P4. So option number A is correct. Whereas stachyose, so stachyose it is an oligosaccharide and other oligosaccharides like raffinose, so these are known to cause the flatulence. So option number Q, it will uh, cause the flatulence. Next, phytate. So phytate, it, uh, it is actually an antinutrition which uh, chelates the divalent cations and uh, reduces their bioavailability. And Kunitz type inhibitor, so it inhibits the trypsin and chymotrypsins. So option number A, that is P4, Q1, R2 and S3 is the correct option. Question number 16. So the addition of which one of the following to high methoxyl pectin will result in the gel formation. So options are hydrogen ions, calcium ions, sugar and sodium ions. So over here the correct option will be option number A that is so hydrogen ion and option number C that is sugar. So addition of these two to the high methoxyl pectin it will result in the gel formation. Question number 17. So um, it is an NAD type question. So uh, 10 kg tomato pulp is concentrated from an initial moisture content of 90% wet basis to the 35% wet basis. So the wet concentrate of in the final one we have to calculate. So over here we'll use a formula. So over here dried is been used. So over here the formula is W2 is equal to initial weight multiplied by 100 minus initial moisture content divided by the final moisture content. That is W2 equal to W1 into 100 minus moisture content of the initial one divided by the moisture content of the final one. So 10 into 100 minus 90 divided by 100 minus 35 that is 10 into 10 by 65 that is approximately 1.54 kg. And they, are, they say that round off to two decimal places. So we have to write up to two decimal places. So answer option, answer, correct answer will be 1.54 kg. Question, so question number 18. Which one of the following statement regarding moisture resorption isotherm of the dried food is not correct? So the options are the gluhanium Anderson, the Bohr equation is a multilayer moisture resorption model number B. At a given temperature and water activity, an adsorption isotherm exhibits higher equilibrium moisture content than a desorption isotherm in hysteresis. Option number C, at a given temperature content, moisture content, effect, uh, effect of temperature on a moisture absorption isotherm clause follows the clausius clapeyron equation. And number D, that at a given temperature, the difference between the adsorption and desorption moisture isotherm is known as hysteresis. So over here, the incorrect, actually the uh, correct answer will be number B, that is the incorrect one. It is uh, at a given temperature and water activity and adsorption isotherm exhibits higher uh, equilibrium moisture content than a uh, desorption isotherm in hysteresis. The thing is written in the opposite manner in a vice versa form. So question number 19, which one of the following enzyme is are used for the production of high fructose syrup from cornstarch? So we have to uh, mark the enzymes name. So options are alpha amylase, xylulose isomerase, uh, beta amylase and glucoamylase. So over here the correct answer will be option number A that is alpha amylase, number B that is xylulose uh, isomerase and number D that is glucoamylase. So option number A, B and D is correct. Okay, with this we have also completed our question answer discussion of GATE 2024 food technology subject. Hoping that you all find this video fruitful you, so you can share this video with your friends, subscribe our YouTube channel uh, and if you find any of the questions, uh, any doubt if you find, so you can comment us down below. So till then, thank you, enjoy learning.